Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of JLD Reactions. Today, we are going to be reacting to Supernatural Episode 6, Season 1, Episode 6, called Skin. Now, last week's episode was pretty good. It was called Bloody Mary, and I actually really enjoyed it. It was about a ghost who lived inside a mirror and would kill people who felt guilty about something that they did, something involving killing somebody. Um, so I thought that was really good. Um, I actually enjoyed it much better. Well, I enjoyed it better than The Phantom Traveler and Dead in the Water or Deep in the Water. I can't remember. I enjoyed it more. I didn't enjoy it more than Wendigo, though. I still think Wendigo has been the best episode so far. Um, so yeah, it was a good episode. Um, before we get started, guys, I just want to let you guys know that a few people have asked me if I'm setting up a Patreon channel, and yes, I am actually doing that. I'm in the process of doing it. I'm not exactly sure how the tiers are going to be, but I'm thinking it might be $1 for one uncut, one uncut, unedited episode, and maybe $5 a month for, um... For uncutted episodes, and also I'll probably throw in some extras in there, so I'm thinking some Rick and Morty episodes, and also some BoJack Horseman episodes that I haven't seen yet. So I'll probably have some... It won't It won't be the whole thing of Rick and Morty, because I've already seen the first three seasons of Rick and Morty, so it would be like the fourth season of Rick and Morty, and the last five or six episodes of BoJack Horseman, which I have yet to watch. Um, Yeah, so... Stay tuned for that. I'll let you guys know when that is up and running. It should be up and running now, but I'm a little bit behind. <laughs> so I'll, if, if there's a link on this channel, that means it's up and running. Um, and that's it, guys. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, well, you don't have to share, but like, share, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to click that notification bell so you can get notified when I put up more videos. Okay, guys. Let's get started. Skin. Hmm. Trying to think of what this episode might be about. People's skin getting boiled off or something. How about I bomb it? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Huh? Do it. Here's my parents. I was just crashing here for the long weekend when everything happened. I decided to take the semester off. I'm gonna stay until Zach's free. Where are your folks? They live in Paris for half the year, so they're on their way home now for the trial. Do you guys want a beer or something? Hey, no thanks. So, tell us what happened. Well, um, Zach came home and he found Emily tied to a chair. Hmm. And she was beaten up and bloody and she wasn't breathing, and so he... He called 911 and the police, they showed up and, and they arrested him. Blood everywhere. Beck, you want to wait outside? No, I want to help. <laughs> so you think maybe this is our kind of problem? No, probably not. But we should look at the security tape, you know, just to make sure. Yeah. Yeah. So the tape, the uh, security footage, I think maybe your lawyers should get their hands on it. See, I just don't have that kind of uh, jurisdiction. I've already got it. I don't want to say something from the cop. <laughs> I, um, I sold off the lawyer's desk. I just had to see it for myself. Uh, withholding evidence, that's against the law, young lady. Yeah. So this creature can, like, peels people's skin off and, like, takes over their body or something? Here he comes. So now he's going to look like him. Is that an axe in his hand? Oh, looks like it's lived here for a while. 
He knows how many barges he's gotten away with. Get the son of a bitch! Oh. Don't move! What have you done with him? Dude, chill. It's me, all right? No, I don't think so. Where's my brother? You bet to shoot him. He knew. Sam, calm down. You got those keys with your left. Your shoulder was hurt. Yeah, it's better. What do you want me to do, cry? You're not my brother. Why don't you pull the trigger then? Hmm? Because you're not sure. Dude, you know me. I don't. Oh. Hey. Where the hell were you? Where is my brother? I'm your brother. See, deep down, I'm just jealous. You got friends. You could have a life. Me? I know I'm a freak. And sooner or later, everybody's gonna leave me. What are you talking about? You left? Hell, I did everything Dad asked me to, and he ditched me too. No explanation, nothing, just boom. Left me with your sorry ass. But still, this life, it's not without its perks. I meet the nicest people. Like little Becky. You know, Dean would bang her if he had the chance. Let's see what happens. Yeah, but he banged everybody. Bye, Rebecca's already. Come on. We gotta find a phone. Call the police. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're gonna put an APB out on me. Sorry. This way. It's funny. I kind of understand him. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I hope he doesn't rape them before he torches them. You're a nice girl, Rebecca. I mean, I liked you. Believe me, it makes this harder. But I gotta do what I gotta do. What does he really look like? Oh, he's gonna look like the other brother. There she is. Finally, something went right tonight. Nope. Oh. So say the shapeshifter is real. Okay. By the way, you know you're crazy. I should have known that. But, um, say it is. Hey! Sometime. It might not be for a little while. 
I didn't see them actually kill him, so I'm thinking, well, there's only two minutes left in this episode. Hmm. All I gotta say, I'm sorry I'm gonna miss it. Miss what? How many chances am I gonna have to see my own funeral? Hmm. Okay, guys, that was season one, episode six, entitled Skin. Hmm. It wasn't a bad episode, but I don't know. There was something missing for me in that episode. Like, there was no build-up. Like, it just kind of felt... Kind of just felt, like, choppy and rushed. I can't put my finger on it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe people agree with me. Maybe this is, like, a fan favorite. I don't know. But this episode felt a little bit... Like, rushed. At least the other episodes, even though... Like, the Phantom Traveler, and, um... That was the one that came before that? Not Bloody Mary, but, uh... Dead in the Water, at least they kind of had, like, a build-up to them. This one didn't feel like it had much build-up. Like, it just felt like... Somebody called! And then somebody starts killing! And, I don't know, it was just... It just... It kind of fell flat for me. It fell flat for me. Um, it wasn't a horrible episode. It, it kept my interest, but it wasn't an episode that I feel like I could watch again. To be honest. I wouldn't give it a six, because it wasn't that bad. I would give it around a... I would give it around a six and a half to a seven. Which is pretty low for Supernatural standards. But I think that's probably the least exciting episode of all the episodes I've seen so far. Skin. Um... And again, like I said, this might be a fan favorite, but for me, there was just something missing. I, I don't even know what it was exactly what was missing. Suspense, build-up, tension. I don't know. It just it was just a weird episode. It didn't feel... The, the writing felt weird. It was just weird. And also, I mean, I hate to say it, but the episodes are kind of starting to feel the same. And like I said, I'm okay with Monster of the Week episodes, but I feel like I don't know, it just didn't feel very... Something was off about it. I can't put my finger on it. Maybe you guys know what it is. Um, I hope they start getting into the season arc soon. If they do, please don't tell me. I'm going to keep watching. I'll discover that on my own. But, hmm. That was an odd episode. Six and a half to a seven, I would give it. Just something was off. If you, if you guys know what was off, please let me know in the comments. Uh, because I really can't put my finger on why that episode was just meh. I don't know. I don't know why it was just meh. Maybe because I just watched episode 7 of the Vampire Diaries and that was amazing. Um, so maybe compared to that, that's why it just seemed a little flat to me. I don't know. Because the Vampire Diaries is really picking up. Um, and that just felt flat. It, I, I don't know. It doesn't. I want Supernatural to pick up the pace. They started off good with Wendigo, and I thought it was going to kind of keep that pace, but it's starting to just feel stagnant from week to week. You know what I'm saying? Dead in the Water and The Phantom Traveler kind of felt similar. And then I like The Bloody Mary. That had more suspense to it to me in Build, but still, I feel like it peaked with Wendigo, and now the episodes are starting to stagger off. And I just hope that they realize that and say, okay, we need to amp it up again. You know, get people excited about watching the show again. And the Vampire Diaries has done it. The Vampire Diaries started off week and gradually, gradually, gradually has gotten better. And now I'm like, I got to watch every episode now. So hopefully Supernatural will do that. I hope they didn't, you know, peak too soon with Wendigo. I'm sure they're going to get better. But yeah, the episode was just... It was just meh. Not bad. Not good. Just... Forgettable. Meh. Anyway, maybe you guys disagree with me. Okay, guys. That's all for this episode. And I will see you guys next week. Arrivederci.